we have a job interview data set. And the table has records for job interviews, date, length of meeting in minutes, position, and whether or not the interviewee was rejected or accepted. Now, if our goal is to look through this column here and count how many were rejected in cell I6, we can type an equal sign. And then I type count ifs. I see it highlighted in blue, so I hit tab. The first argument is criteria range. So for counting rejected, we need to highlight the entire column. Now when I highlight this, this is an Excel table. So it puts the table name in, and in square brackets, the column name. That's the range with all the items. Now I type a comma. Criteria 1, now I just tell count ifs what I want it to count. Selecting cell H6, close parentheses, and that's it. When I hit Enter, I get a count of 11. And of course, the beauty of Excel worksheet formulas is if I change this to accepted and hit Enter, I instantly get a count of 3. Now that's counting. If we're adding minutes based on the word accepted in this column, we don't use the count ifs function. We use the sum ifs function. Now what's different about this is there's a sum range. That means a column with numbers you want to add. Now this is an Excel table, so instead of using my selection cursor, with my black downward pointing arrow at the top of the column, I can click. And it puts the full column in. Now we type a comma, criteria range. That's all the items with all the conditions and criteria, comma. Now for criteria 1, I put the specific condition. When I put accepted into criteria 1, some ifs knows to go through and get each one of the accepted records, jump over, get the numbers, and add. Now this is adding with a single condition, so I close parentheses and hit Enter. I can see it was a total of 88 minutes. If I change this back to rejected, instantly both formulas updates. How is that updating? I just F2 to put it in edit mode. I just have a formula looking at that condition up there. Now when we're counting with count ifs or adding with sum ifs, we're not limited to one condition. We can have one up to 126 conditions. So if I want to count using count ifs with two conditions, well, I highlight position, criteria range, that's the full column, comma. Then I match it up with a specific condition. Notice the 1, that means this column goes with this condition. Now I type a comma. I see a 2, so now I select the second column, comma, criteria 2, that's the second condition, selecting cell H2. Now I'm counting with two conditions, close parentheses, and Enter. Now if I want to add. I use sum ifs, sum range. That's always the numbers you want to add, comma, criteria 1 range, position, comma, criteria 1, the individual condition, comma, criteria range 2, the second column, comma, criteria 2, the second condition. And now instead of counting sum ifs, we'll add all the minutes. When I change this, and I better spell it correctly. Notice I have an extra space there, so when I hit Enter, both formulas return a 0. And that's a good thing, because it says whatever I put into these cells, it did not find any matches in this data set. But when I select the cell and hit F2, I can see, oh, there's that rogue space. So I backspace and Enter. And now I get the correct count. The juniors rejected, there were seven of them. The total length of all the meetings, 186 minutes. All right, here's your bonus trick. Instead of using sum ifs, when you're averaging, you use average ifs. And the only difference is that instead of sum range, it says average range. That's where you put the numbers that you want to average. Need to find the maximum value given two conditions? Use max ifs and put the numbers in the max range. Min with two conditions? Put the numbers in min range. So when you want to count with one or more conditions, use the count ifs function. When you want to add with one or more conditions, use the sum ifs function. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. 
because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. And if you want to check out some other videos about adding and counting, check out these videos.